Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is updates on the Mirai and other IoT botnets. Over the past few weeks, I've been talking about the Mirai botnet, which you probably know about, which is a botnet that targets Internet of Things devices like webcams and DVRs and other things like that. In any case, it's been responsible for many huge distributed denial of service uh, attacks, including one against Dyn, which knocked down a lot of sites in the US last Friday. In any case, there's a few updates that have to do with the Mirai botnet and some new IoT botnets that are based on Mirai. First of all, today there's been reports of the Mirai botnet actually attacking Liberia, a country in Africa. Basically, according to sources, Liberia is one of those small countries that only has one incoming access point for the internet. According to Kevin Beaumont, someone that actually is following the Mirai botnet, he said that apparently uh, the Mirai botnet was used to send an attack that generated over 500 gigabits per second against some of the access points for Liberia. And according to some tweets and reports from uh, businesses and telcos in Liberia, this is significantly affecting some of their business and their traffic. This really reminds me of a case back uh, a while ago between Russia, allegedly, and Estonia, where Estonia is a very high-tech country, but it actually only has a couple incoming points for internet, and apparently back then they suffered some big DDoS attacks that affected their government and some of their banking systems for a short period of time. In any case, it's interesting to see how these threat actors out there are leveraging these Internet of Things botnets to attack a lot of different organizations. Attacking Dyn or a DNS middleman allowed them to down a lot of sites in the USA, and by picking certain targets, like targets that have limited internet access points, they can actually cut off countries in some cases, so it's pretty concerning. While we're talking about Mirai, there's some other news about IoT botnets in general. Some of the researchers at Malware Must Die, kind of ad hoc malware research organization, uh, they've actually found a new variant of an IoT botnet, which they're actually calling Linux IRC Telenet. But they say this new botnet is based in part from Mirai and also an old Linux botnet called Adria. And long story short, it's a Linux-based botnet, but it's starting to use some of the leaked IoT passwords uh, that were part of the Mirai source code. And it's really leveraging the same technique of scanning for open Telenet ports and using these default passwords to gain control of these Linux devices. Anyways, the interesting point of this story is now that Mirai is leaked, and other IoT botnets have leaked, you can see that the bad guys out there are starting to leverage all these tools to modify them and to build more and more different IoT botnets. They're building upon each other's techniques. So I would expect IoT botnets to stick around for a long time. Bad guys will continue to develop new variants of this and new techniques, so I don't think this sort of problem is going to go away anytime soon. Anyways, I just thought it was interesting updates about IoT botnets and Mirai. You probably remember my advice from other videos. If you have IoT devices, you should be firewalling them. If your device is open Telenet or any other ports like that for management, you should give no one on the internet access to the ports. Use your firewalls and authentication to block that kind of access. Anyways, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.